just done with the final. so nervous for this exam <sighs> you know what what i know is what i know i if i studied this hard and i still can't pass the exam i there's nothing else i can do it's two hours of this it's gonna be an online exam but in person <sighs> but we still can't use our notes i got this I got this. I studied as hard as I can. This is, this is my best. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I'm so nervous. What the heck was that, bro? I think I just failed my class. Papers due today at 12 or 11:59 p.m. and it's a 10-page research paper. I really like the topic I picked. I'm doing a cross-national and cultural comparison of the U.S. and China and how schooling systems affect adolescent mental health. I just have to do this because I'm a little brain dead from whatever neuro exam that was that I just took a few hours ago. But I just need to turn this in and I'll be done with another class. So we need to lock in and get this paper done. <laughs> we got this. This week is really testing me, but we're so close to grad. We're so close. The motto right now is that is better than perfect because there's no time for perfect right now. I have to watch nine lectures by 
in 24 hours because my final's at 3 p.m. tomorrow. This final season, bro, I don't know. It's really testing me. Nine lectures and a study guide by tomorrow. We're so close to the finish line. She's monetizing this. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of you have asked me how I stay so motivated for school, so I wanted to share some insight I have learned during uni. Number one, don't rely on motivation because that comes in waves. The only thing that is consistent is discipline, and that takes practice. If we only did things when we felt like doing them, things would honestly never get done. I pay for this education, so I remind myself that I deserve to learn to my fullest potential. Second, switch your mindset from I have to study to I get to study. When I started thinking this way, I felt more excited to learn and retain the information a lot better. When you view school in a more positive light and put more time into actually understanding, the content seems a lot more interesting. Third, I started adopting the one else mindset. Four years goes by really fast and you are only in undergrad once. When else will I study for 6 hours straight in a cafe with my friends? When else will I have the chance to have no responsibilities besides learning? Lastly, to put the pressure off of perfecting everything now, I trust that my future self will do well with the information that I am learning. We always assume the worst, but believe in the future you that you will be able to use all the studying you've done now to take that exam to the best of your ability. This mindset comes from learning to put more faith in yourself and realizing that you can control the outcomes of your life. another quick clothing haul for you guys. I'd like to thank Love Bonito for sponsoring this portion of the video and as always, thank you to you guys for making opportunities like this possible for me. Love Bonito designs all their clothing to empower confidence through style. Representation matters and Love Bonito strives to make you feel seen and celebrated as an Asian woman. Not only are their sleeves, hems, and waist cut to fit those more petite in stature, but they also choose colors that flatter more golden and olive-based skin tones like me. With their modern minimalistic style and thoughtful designs, they focus on solving daily problems like having deeper and more functional pockets. I especially love that their clothes can be comfortably worn every day but easily dressed up for a job interview or a night out. Upgrade your closet with clothes made to fit you today with Love Bonito. Go to the link in my description and use code LBXMISH for 10% off your order of $110 or more. Thank you again to Love Bonito for sponsoring this portion of the video. To the snack? No. <laughs> Okay, the VPN is finally back up, so we're gonna try to watch nine lectures in four hours. And there's Katie, over caffeinated Katie. Katie, say hi. <laughs> I'm trying to zoom into your coffee. You're oh, extremely. My heart attack. Your heart attack of a drink. But two, but if it off more than I could chill. Not gonna bother you. Just gotta see this throw. Why everyone's so real? Guess it's out and moke. She's hard at work. Okay. It's 10:52. It's been like 40 minutes, and I got through like three lectures. So I'm on a roll. I'm gonna keep going. Guess that's how they do. I do me, there's nothing new. Why are you stressing? Just do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do it. Yeah, yeah. Why are you stressing? Just do you. Trying to live my best life. Trying to live my best life. Take the edge off. With this next slice. Get my head right. Yeah. I'm just trying to.
59 and we have four lectures left we can do this i got this My friend shared her 50 page study guide so I'm just gonna take the next hour to look over it. I always try to fix my face a little and do a bit of makeup before exams because if I feel good, I do good. So even though it takes a bit of time, it's like a calming little ritual, a little self care. But for three hours of straight stress, so much better. A lot of you guys are interested in how I make my study guides before every exam so I wanted to share with you guys some tips and tricks on how to make the best comprehensive study guide to cram for your exam. So the act of making these just helped me review all the information and I like that I can pull out this document anytime such as walking to class or right before my exam. The general format that I use for my study guides is normally the lecture number so that if I ever need to refer back to the slide or or gather more information I can do that the main topic of that slide then I'll normally format it topic subtopic and then key concepts and definitions in the bullet points so you can see here I just list out all the important information um, and I'm very selective about what type of information I put on here I really want to just focus on key definitions and high yield topics this is like a comprehensive compressed study guide so that I'm really focusing on stuff that I know I have to know. I usually use bullet points and I try to keep it as short as possible so I'll use arrows if I just want to go from one topic to another and I'll also use abbreviations but I'll use a lot of colors so that it's easy to read because I don't want to just be looking at a whole bunch of text. If something is better explained as a picture, I'll just add a screenshot from the slides. But stuff like graphs and diagrams, I like to just add a screenshot because it's easier to look at it than typing it with notes. There's nothing too complicated with my study guides. Here's another one I made for my cognitive psych class last quarter. I'll link that video here. And here's another one I made for my psych midterm. A lot of typos because I normally type these really fast. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you you guys also make study guides to study. This is crazy. When I finish this exam, I'll be graduated. Guess who's finally done with finals? Finally! The adrenaline has worn off. I'm so tired. Weird boy. 